this is the ground floor plan this is the first floor plan which i have already created with detailed column with proper column orientation column layout plan this is the column layout plan this is also i have created and all links are given below in the description box hi everyone welcome to civil engineering tutorials in this video i will show you how to insert this autocad file into revit and will create 3d view of this with elevations basic videos of revit i have already provided before please check the videos on playlist given in the description box to stay updated with all new videos please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more updates follow me on facebook instagram and twitter and if you like this video don't forget to like share and comment and if you have any query please feel free to ask me in the comment section now without wasting time let's get started now double click on revit icon now this is the welcome screen of revit so all basic videos about template families family setting template setting i have already discussed all the videos are given in the description box you can check the link there so here i will not discuss them again so uh, here we will start a new project i will create the 2 phk 2 phk and 1 phk that plan only i will create here so here we have to click on new to create a new project here you can see we have to check you have to select the template file here here this is def default metric unit it's coming but we need imperial it's not coming here imperial so we have uh, we are uh, a metric unit is default metric but i need imperial because my drawing is in feet and inches so you have to set your template file here so how to set i have already discussed so quickly i will show you this again so go to c drive c drive go to program data file this file is hidden file so here go to options now view so hidden files click here and apply and okay now you can see the program data file here double click autodesk double click here again rvt here i am using 2018 version so rvt 2018 here these are the family template templates libraries you can see double click on template here generic you can see here these are the default so this is indian so i don't have right now here anything so generic i will use so default imperial this one i will use for feet and inches now how to set this i will tell you quickly so close this first go to revit welcome uh, home page now go to file click on options here click on file location here we have to add this so metric default metric is added now uh, click on this plus add value click here we have to add here you can see click here and drop down menu you can see program data autodesk rbt 2018 template and generic so in generic here we will get all this template so i need this template default imperial for feet and inches click on open now it's added here so now we need to click on okay this okay now if you here you can see it's coming here and click on okay uh, open new now it's coming here default imperial now select this keep checked on project and click on okay now this is the revit page this is the project browser you have to keep it in another side this side now this is move this to middle this four side as cameras for section we have to see sectional views here through here 
now here units so you in uh, type this here you, you need to check the this this is feet and fractional inches we have to select so this is selected feet feet and fractional inches click on ok now click on ok so you have to check in unit now go to insert now here import CAD we have to import the AutoCAD file so click on import CAD you can see here is on de desktop my AutoCAD file is there in the des desktop I, I kept it so go to insert first then click on import CAD now go to desktop and now on the des on desktop here select now here we have to do some settings color is preserve if you want to keep preserve then the color will be same i need black and white so select black and white usually you should select black and white so that will be easy for you to work now positioning you have to uh, take center to center select center to center now place at level one means uh, then click on open so that means we are positioning it on level one now the file the ground floor level means level one we placed it when we will do uh, the uh, first floor it will be on level two so here we will uh, create the wall here so first we have to do some settings go to architecture now click on wall we have to create wall first now here basic walls if you click here here you can see the thickness of walls we need 9 inch wall and 4.5 inch wall but we don't have here so we have to create 9 inch wall and 4.5 inch wall so for that we have to edit type so click on edit type we take generic 8 inch we have to select first one wall then we have to click on edit type click here now here we have to create a duplicate wall we cannot change this so click, click on duplicate we have to create a duplicate wall so click duplicate now rename this to 9 inch first we will create 9 inch wall I have already discussed all this in uh, previous videos now quickly I am telling so 9 inch click on ok so we have changed the name only now we have to change the dimension here so click on edit here you have to change the dimension here you uh, make this 9 inch and click on ok so we have changed the width click on ok again so 9 inch wall is created now we need 4.5 inch wall again click here edit type duplicate now here 4.5 inch we have to mention generic 4.5 inch wall this is only renaming way we have done now edit here width we have to change so 4.5 inch so instead of giving inch symbol you can simply type 4.5 that will also take inch click on ok you can see now click on again ok see generic 4.5 inch wall also selected now what we have to do select 9 inch wall first I will create 9 inch wall 9 inch wall is created now move this to here ok ok so here first I have we have to select height so height it is unconnected here 20 feet but we have to take level 1 to level 2 level 1 to this drawing is in level 1 so height is up to level 2 Le means level 1 to level 2 height will be what is the meaning of level 1 to level 2 now this is the elevation double click on elevation is elevation any elevation see the elevation is level 1 to level 2 distance is 10 feet how to create this level i have already discussed in my previous video please go through the link see the distance level 1 to level 2 is 10 feet so our 
Elevation should be if we'll create the drawing in level 1 that means the height will automatically go up to level 2. So that is level 2. Now I will show you quickly one example. This is the single room I have created. Okay. Now double click on this elevation C. The height is up to level 2. We have started, we have drawn at level 1 but the height is connected to level 2. Means the distance height is Roof slab distance 10 feet. Okay, hope you understand. Now, delete this. So, click select wall. This is level 2. Now, location line. This is very important. So, you can take anything. If you take center line also, it is okay. Face exterior also is okay. Face interior also is okay. See, I will show you one by one. If we will take a, a wall center line, suppose uh, wall exterior you will take, then what you, you have to do, you have to select an external line. Means you have to click here and you have to do like this. Sp uh, press the space bar to flip the side and this is the wall you can create. Okay, now if we will take wall center line, you can see you have to click on center line of this wall. You can see this wall you have to click on the center line. You can see the center line also the dotted line here. Click here. See the wall is created but you have to take the center line and click here. Now press the space bar to flip the side. Okay. This is the cent uh, center line and interior also. Face exterior, we have taken face interior means you have to click on interior. Means you have to start from interior, then the wall will be created. We have to touch the interior side, click on the interior side. Click here and flip sides, press space bar to flip sides. Okay. So I usually prefer face exterior. I prefer this. So Generic 9, uh, level 2 height, face exterior. Now, I will start from here. Click here. This is the first point we have to start. So, now 9 inch wall first I will create. So, press the space bar. It is very easy to create. Here, we need to, no need to do, uh, create one line and uh, offset again. No need to do. We can create like this. Create this. Click here. Okay, now escape. Again, single escape. We are still in the command, command line, wall line. Now click here and here, click here and escape. See, it is automatic, automatically created. Now, first external walls I will create. So I will start from here again. Click here and Press the space bar to flip the sides. See, like this. Press the space bar to flip the sides. Click here. Again. Click here. And click here. You have to close the door openings. So that we can create the door openings later. We can fix the door there and windows there. So we will not break this. We have to close the wall through the door opening. Now, now 4.5 inch wall we have created 9 inch wall 4.5 inch wall level 2 face exterior. Now start from here click here. So click here. Okay now this side face flip the side by pressing the space bar. Click here. Escape single escape. Click here again and click here. You can see Click here. It is all walls are created. And click here and also click here. So we have created all walls. Now here start here. Click here. And click here. Single escape. Now again this wall. Start here. Click here. If you take here also, it will take. See, flip the side and click here. It will take. 
so it's very easy if you have autocad file then it will be more easier for you to do so now draw click here and join here again draw and join here close the door openings don't leave the door openings you have to close it leave here and clip the side and join it here See, I will show you here something. Suppose you have done, you have done like this, flip the sides. Then what you have to do? Sorry. I will start from here. Okay. Click here. Escape. Now start here again. And click here. Single escape. You can see. Wall thickness also, it's creating. So, here in this area, you can see it is not joined properly. That's so. Drag this and join this here. You can see now it's created properly. So, we have created all walls, all external walls and internal walls. We have created. Go to 3D view, click here for 3D view. This is the 3D walls. It is created up to level 2. Okay, means the ground floor. 3D view you can see. Here in the next video, I will provide doors, windows, everything I will provide this. Elevations also we will create. This is the level 1 to level 2. North side elevation you can see we will fix when we will fix the windows and doors automatically all windows and doors will be fixed here. Okay. I will show you all details in my next video. So if I will create all in one video then it will be too long. It will be difficult for you to understand. So first you practice this. Then next video I will create. I will fix doors, windows. I will create roof and more details other things I will create. We will learn more things. So, I will save. I will show you how to save. Save. I will save in desktop. Now, this project one. Uh, if you want to rename, you can rename. I will keep project one right now. Now, save this. Now, I will show you. It is saved on the desktop. Okay. Hope you understand. So, this is the way you should insert your AutoCAD file into Revit and you start working. So, in next video, we will create doors, windows, roof and everything. So, I hope you like this video and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and comment. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.